Peace, gentlemen, peace. Shalom, Elohim. Peace be upon you. I pray in Jesus' name, you're having a wonderful, blessed, and productive day. We got up another day by God's grace, so let us be productive and let us not procrastinate. Fellas, I really want to give you guys a profound message. A man with no vision, he perishes. I'll say it again. A man without a vision, perish. You know, a lot of men get on NoFap and see attention and live it on a day-to-day -day basis. A day-to-day -day basis without a vision. You know, you gotta have a long-term vision. Your vision has to be, it, it has to be like the heavens. Your vision has to be like a gold road. You wanna be led somewhere. You wanna be able to increase in your life spiritually, mentally, and physically. You gotta have a determination each day. When you get out of bed, you gotta make sure you know what you wanna do in Jesus Christ's name. Because first of all, you gotta buy another day of God's grace. You didn't just get up. God didn't just wake you up just so you could get up, wash your face, lay down, and just not do anything with your time. You know, time is of the essence. And on this earth, we only have such a short time compared to eternity. So you must apply yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. If that is getting closer with God, learning about his word in order so you can be more edifying to your peers, be able to teach the word of God, be able to commune with others in the spirit as well too. And just to do things on a day-to-day -day basis, that's gonna be prosperous for you. You know, we get up every morning, we gotta make sure that we have something set out to start off our day. Because if we don't start off our day with the foundation of the head of man, which is Christ, then our day is only gonna go by, you know, the flow. You know, they will say, go with the flow, go with the punches. But if you don't have a vision, you're gonna perish. You know, the man that has that idle time, he's gonna be so idle that he's gonna let all these other things creep into his vessel. And when I mean creep into its vessel, I mean he's going to place his eye upon darkness and then it's going to enter inside of you. And that's not what you want. Definitely in this season, in this time that we're living at right now, you want to be as productive as possible. Even if you don't have a job, you're looking for a job, you're looking for a way how to create avenues for you to increase in income, wanting to be more of a loving, kind person, want to get out of your comfort zone want to go to the gym five days a week, want to build muscle, want to just be something, you know, be something. God is not, God is not predominantly worried about you leaving something on this earth. He's not worried about you, um, you know, being known in the world for generations to come. You see, he just wants you to enjoy the things that he's giving you every day. And he's giving you air, he's giving you life. He didn't give you a life just to waste it. You know, we continuously preach this, you know, there's more things that we have to do to be blameless and holy, but you guys are on a good start. We are always on a good start when we put away the wickedness and be on a narrow path. You know, delaying the gratification always, you're gonna reap a lot of benefits. You're gonna have a lot of more mental clarity in order to do things that you never thought you can do. If you're a creative person, you're gonna be highly creative. If you're, you know, and, and when I say highly creative, that means everything that you do that's creative. You get in a workout, your workout is gonna be highly creative. You're gonna start doing different things that you never done before. You know, when it comes to seeking knowledge, you're gonna be seeking truth. You're gonna you're gonna have that discernment that you're not gonna you're not gonna fall for the lies and the nonsense. You know, God is not a God of confusion, so do not confuse yourself. Always know truth. Always go towards truth. Always go to things that's gonna make you strong in the spirit. Keep your eyes guarded. Keep your heart guarded as well. Be swift to listen and slow slow to speak same same way be slow to react when you see things be slow to react please be slow to react and just get up and be productive get up and be productive because listen we cannot do this without christ we cannot do this without christ wake up in the morning read some scriptures you know play some worship songs do something of that nature to get your day started you know have that have that have that foundation in the morning so your whole day can be smooth smooth like butter i can't believe it's not butter you know by by the time by the time the sun go down you should be ready to lay down because you have you you spend so much time during the day edifying yourself with the word of god and with spiritual things that's going to make you better in this narrow walk 
And that's what we got to do. We don't do this practice unto man. We don't shine unto man. They see the light. They see the light. They can't comprehend it, but they want to come near it. It's a good thing. It's never a bad thing. You know, you got to love your neighbor. You got to love your neighbor. You know what I mean? Just like you love yourself. But remember, fellas, you can't do anything without Christ. You can't do anything without Christ. A man without Christ, he walks, he stumbles, he trips. When it's, when it's, even when it's daytime, even when it's light outside, he still trips and falls and stumbles. He's so swift to turn his neck to look left and right at everything that walks by. But your head needs to be focused. Your head needs to be straight. Your head needs to be screwed on properly. You got to make sure that you got your boots laced up. You got the breastplate. You got the helmet. You got the sword, the word of God, always strapped to you. You know, there's something that I do on a daily basis. When I am when I wake up in the morning and I brush my teeth, teeth and I give thanks for the water, for my breakfast, you know, for the car I'm able to drive to the gym, you know, the small things, be thankful for another day, be thankful that the Holy Spirit is about it inside of me, be thankful for Jesus Christ, be thankful for my wife, be thankful for my mother. You know, I go into the gym and, and I'm listening to scriptures, you know, as I'm getting my workout. And the presence of God upon you and everywhere that you go is such a blessing. It's such a blessing because God sees that you're willing to always want to be in him. You know, God always looks at that when you want to be with him everywhere you go. God is looking for that. So the man that's on no fat consumer attention, listen, man. Continue to rely on Christ. Continue to rely on Christ. Continue to make sure that He's your backbone, that He's your 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 uh, your your steadfast rock, your sturdy rock. Let Him be that boulder that's never gonna make you shift left and right, fellas. I pray that this message has went so deep into your heart, into your brain, because a man without a vision he perishes. I pray that a man right now that needed to hear this. You know, he cleans up right now and starts to really have a vision. You know, right now we, we want to we wanna build for our future families. We want to provide on a nonstop basis. We want to be that biblical man. We want to be that man that can lift up a couch, lift up a refrigerator. You know, God forbid, you know, lift up, push your car down the block when you run out of gas. You want to be that type of man. You want to be that strong man, you feel me? We don't do anything unto man. We do everything unto Christ. Shalom Elohim. Peace be upon you, brothers. Pray that you guys have a wonderful and blessed day in Jesus Christ's name. Keep God first. Keep Christ on your head. And stay on the swivel, fellas. Peace. It's Uncle K. I'm out. Shalom.